I got out of that stuff. I don't sit there and do that. I, I give them a scripture. If they don't, boom, here go a video. Look at it. That's it. That's right. I don't go back and forth with them all day. I learned that going in early in the truth. Right. Two, year two or three. I'm putting up scriptures, debating back and forth with all my uh, friends in the world. None of these Negroes repented. They called me their goddamn Christmas. My brother called me yesterday. Yeah, we celebrate Christmas over here, bro. <laughs> That's what he told me. I post videos. I post videos on my brother's Facebook page. I tag him and my cousin in all the videos I post on my worldly page for them to see. He called me up. Yeah, we got a Christmas tree up in here, bro. We celebrate Christmas, and he know it's wrong because he doesn't. Why my mic go high? Because he he knows all of that. I paste it on there. He watches the stuff. He likes some of it, but it ain't gonna change him. Will be nothing but the spirit of the Lord. So don't waste your time sitting there in front of Facebook going back and forth on scriptures because a wicked man is going to find an excuse to justify themselves. If you just read down in the chapter, Christ clearly tells you what he's talking about. It ain't about food. It's talking about, but to eat with unwashing hands defileth not a man. That was the whole argument in Matthew 15, verse 2 again. Right. Read that. Matthew chapter 15, verse 2. Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. They had anyone talking nothing about Leviticus chapter 11. All food is clean now. I can pray over it. No, it's just talking about washing your hands. That's it. That's right. All right. Uh, newer brothers, y'all have questions? Y'all too? No question. Y'all ain't got no questions? Y'all had your hands up at first. Brother, you had a question? Don't be scared now. Y'all ain't got to be scared. Y'all at home. Don't be scared, brothers. All right. Let me finish this in my real quick. Also. Good. Uh, first Timothy 4, just in case. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's the scripture. Go ahead. Just in case somebody pulled this on you about eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. Yeah. First Timothy 4, we're going to start at verse 3. Now, we're going to start at verse 1. First Timothy 4, verse 1. You read it? All right. First Timothy, chapter 4, verse, one. Verse, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrine of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with an hot iron. So it says, in the latter times... Uh, some shall depart from faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience sealed with the hot iron. Read. Forbidding to marry, uh -huh. and commanding to abstain from meats. Read. Which God hath created to which be what? which, which what? God hath created to uh -huh. be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and right. know the truth. Read on verse four. Is what I'm on. Verse four. For every creature of God is good. Stop. Uh oh. There you go. Know, For every creature that. of God is good. Who can explain that? I can eat anything now. I can eat anything I want. It's good. Who can explain that? Uh. Hey, I want somebody. Lucius. Every creature of God is good. Microphone. Good. What are microphones for? You're just saying that everything is, um, that God created everything good from the beginning, but it's not talking about. Food that we eat. Meaning that everything was made for a purpose. Yeah, everything. Was everything made made for was purpose. made for a purpose. So from now on, whenever somebody say that for every creature of God is good, you ask them, good for what? Right. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. the question we never ask. Good for what? Exactly. What's their purpose? Exactly. Read on. For every creature of God is good, uh -huh. and nothing to be refused. Read. If it be received with thanksgiving, Come on. for it is sanctified. For, it is what? for it is sanctified uh -huh. by the word of God. So it says, for it is sanctified by the word of God, right? John 17, 17 real quick. Never read that. Mm. Never read that. Yeah. For it's sanctified. Sanctified. John 17, 17. The book of John, chapter 17, verse 17. Sanctify them. Through thy truth, uh -huh. thy word thy is what? thy word uh -huh. is truth. So when you go back to Timothy, they say, "For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer." So I mean, the Most High sanctified it to be eaten, right? 
What do you find what the most I sanctify to eat and what not supposed to eat? What do you find that at? Amen. So let's go there. Huh? Let's see what the most I sanctify to be eaten and what ain't supposed to be eaten. The book of Leviticus, chapter start, 11. Start start at uh, Leviticus 11 and 46. Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 46. Uh -huh. This is the law of the beast uh -huh. and the of the fowl Read. and of every living creature. Of every living creature that moveth, moveth in the waters uh -huh. and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth. Read. To make a difference. And to make a what? To make a difference. To separate. Read. Between the unclean, between the unclean and the clean, and the clean. Read on, and between beasts that may be eaten, uh huh, and the beasts that may not be eaten. So the most I sanctified certain animals to be eaten, and certain animals not to be eaten. Right? right. So can't, they can't pull that on you, bro. They cannot pull you and say, "Oh, see." It is sanctified by the word of God. Right. They don't read that. Crabs are good to clean right. the bottom of the river. Roaches of the sea. That's right. That's what they're good for. Pigs, vacuums. Catfish are good to clean the bottom of the river. Not to eat like Negroes. That's right. Negroes, boy, I tell you. That, that's the thing. Negroes, what they see is they see the oppressor making a cockroach a, del a delicacy. Ooh. So they envy that bad boy. Yep. They envy it. And they want to, hey, I, we could do that too. You know what? I could stir fry that shrimp. What? I could stir fry that better than them. Hey, you know what's crazy? But that's bro? that's not of the most. You know what's crazy? In slavery, bro, they used to throw that to us. Yeah. Mm. Here, have this. Yep. I read that in, uh, you brothers, Mikey, pick it up. That's what helped lead me on. Y'all already hear this, but that's what changed my mind. I read uh, the narrative of Frederick Douglass. And, uh, in that book, this is before I woke up to go, this is the beginning of it though. Uh, Red, he said the slave master used to give them barely enough slops of the leftover pigs to remain living during the month. That's what they used to eat. The left of, that's where we get chitlins and pig feet and pig nose and pig ears. That's the stuff they didn't want. And they threw it to us. It was just enough for the slaves to stay alive. Frederick Douglass wrote it in his book. And now we turned it into a delicacy. delicacy man. You know what? Esau bumped the price up. On the lobster, crab, shrimp, Esau bumped the price up. Say, you know what, here, pay me to eat this defiled food. You, <laughs> and you know what, that, that's the test right there. They put things out there like that so to see, all right, hold on, let's see if we still got them. Let's see if we still got them breaking God's laws. All right, we're gonna go ahead, mark the prices up. We're gonna see how much people buy it, how much of Jake buy it, and sure enough, their calculation is right. Hey, one thing I noticed though, y'all know when the hurricane came, right? When, they, when everybody was in the stores buying all the water and stuff, we went to the food aisle. Oh, man. The beef was gone. The chicken was gone. The pork was full. Mm. They'll, let them, they'll let you know, man. They, they know. Kept I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.